Hi, Michael Smith with Teach Construction. I've got an update I want to share with you about access to quizzes. Now, these are quizzes specifically for our customers that use our instructional resource library and those that are, use it with Google Classroom. Okay, so this is specific to ways of helping you save time in using our quiz question bank, but it's, instead you're actually copying quizzes we've already made and put them into your courses. So let's just jump right in. So if you're a premium subscriber to us, and, and by that I mean you have access to our instructional resource library. You have something that looks like this. You have access to over 500 links of individually accessible instructional resources to build into your learning management system. In this case, we're talking about Google Classroom. So let me jump to wall framing, one of my more appealing topics, I think. So in our wall framing section, if you've gone through any of our course tabs here, you have access to videos, you have access to PowerPoints, you have access to vocabulary and quizzes or quiz questions. The challenge has been, and I'm going to bring up one here, when you're looking at these quizzes or the quiz link there, that's just a fillable PDF, which I've said in other training videos is not the be all and end all of electronic quiz taking. In fact, you shouldn't even do it for very long. It should be a stopgap. So what you really want to do is build all of these quizzes into your Google Classroom, but it's a huge amount of work. It takes us probably maybe 40 minutes per quiz to create, and we're pretty comfortable doing it. So if you don't do it a lot, it could take you an hour, an hour and a half to create a quiz, and there are a bunch of them. We've got the solution to make some of that time less time. So you may have seen these. These are the quizzes. All the questions are the same, and this is just a fillable quiz. If you're still doing paper quizzes and printing them in class and grading them, all the power to you. Keep watching, because if you want to do this with Google Classroom, you can save yourself a ton of time. So that's the quiz. If we go back to our instructional resource library and bring up the question and answer bank, this is available to you in a Google Word I'm sorry, this is available to you in a Microsoft Word format, so you can download it, open it, copy and paste everything into Google Classroom. And you may have already done that for a number of quizzes. You might want to just use this process I'm about to tell you to save time for the rest of the quizzes. So again, same quizzes here as that PDF that I was showing you. But what we can do, if I bring up my Google Drive under Classroom, that's where Google puts all of our classes, at least on my end, I think your school will be very similar, and I bring up a course that we have that's Master Quizzes, what we've done is created a quiz of all of the questions we have, individual for electrical framing, measure and mark, painting, you get the point. It's all of the quizzes that we've got. I can share this with you, obviously, through Google. And if you're using Google Classroom, then obviously you've got a Gmail account. But I would share this with your school email account. You can then see all of these um, quizzes. You can download them. You make a copy and it puts it onto your computer. You then open up your Google Classroom. You use the Create New and you connect to that quiz that you just downloaded. Now, I'm going to go through these step by step for you. But for those of you who have done something like this before, you might not need that support. What you do need, though, is access to this directory. So here's what you do. If you are a Google Classroom user and you're a subscriber, premium subscriber to our services, send an email to me at this email address on your screen. In that email, tell me what school you're with so I can easily confirm that you are a premium subscriber with us. I will then share this folder with you, the same folder that you're looking at right now. That will go onto your computer. You'll be able to get access to it. And then individually, you would have to make a copy of all of these courses. Actually, you can do it as a group. You can make a copy of all of these quizzes, get access to them, put them into your course. So that's all you have to do. Now, I'm going to about to go through step by step of how you do that. Again, if you don't need that level of support, send me that email. I'll give you access to this. If you do, and you're going to stay on with me here in a moment and watch that step by step, still send me an email and say, I'm going to want to have access to that folder. I want to copy all of those quizzes. That way you can follow along with the rest of these step by step. I hope this is helpful for you. I hope this saves you a lot of time. In fact, if it does, shoot me an email. Let me know. The last plug I want to put in here is, 
If you haven't been doing it already, follow our YouTube channel. That YouTube channel has all sorts of stuff that we push out for teachers. Videos just like this one, as well as everything else that we talk about are new training tips and new courses coming out. We're doing a new exploration of careers. There's two of them that we just posted, uh, probably since last I put an, an update out for all you folks. One's about jobs in civil construction, and we just put one out about jobs for solar installation. And we have a bunch more course content coming out. Solar power, solar thermal, um, energy efficiency and building science, as well as code compliance. Okay, I'm going to shut up and jump right into step-by-step -step process. So the first thing you should have done, and if you haven't done it, is send me an email. Here's the email address. Say, give me access, please, to the all the quizzes. I will give you access. And what you do, and you'll be alerted to that on your email, is you go to your Google Drive, click Shared with me, and you're looking for this folder. It says Teach Construction Master Quiz Course. Because what this is, is really a repository of quizzes through Google Classroom. Double click on it, make sure you have access to all of these quizzes. Here it is, I'm looking at all of the quizzes that we have, 43, 45, something like that. Um, now you know you have access to them. The next step I recommend is go to your Google Classroom. This is my Google Classroom I set up under my personal account. I created a Michael testing class here just so I have it and I know where to put folders. Now, I am not sure about how your system or where your school folder structure is. I'm just going to assume that it is still under the category of classroom. So let me show you why that makes sense or why that is important. I'm going to grab this quiz, let's say framing corner assemblies and uh, blocking. If I right click on this quiz, I can say make a copy. That quiz is now being copied and downloaded from my teach construction area that I shared with you into my email address, which should look exactly like yours. So as soon as that went down there, I'm going to go back to my Google Drive right at the root and just by clicking drive, when I say root, means the basic of it. And it copied or downloaded that quiz at 5 o'clock. I'm doing this, this video 5 o'clock on January 31st, oddly enough. So Happy New Year to everybody. I had a few minutes, so I thought I'd make this video. What you want to do with this quiz is you, is you move it. I'm going to take this. I am going to move it to Google Classroom on my, on my drive. And I'm going to put it under that Michael testing class that I had said and move here and then move it. This is just the process of keeping your Google Drive area clean and keeping it organized. So let's say this copy of framing headers. I did this one as I was testing before I turned the camera on. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to right click. I'm going to move it to classroom Michael testing class and say move here. Move. Now it's done. I can look at that by going to classroom, Michael testing class, and I know I have two things here. This becomes important because you have to know where this quiz is. So if I go to my Google Classroom now, this should look exactly like yours, relatively. This is a brand new class I created. So there's really nothing in here if I click on classwork. Absolutely nothing there. I'm going to click Create. So instead of creating a quiz, you don't want to do that because that'll make a new quiz. You're creating an assignment. So click Create, select Assignment, and let's title it. That was Framing Corners. You can put instructions in there if that's what you typically do. But the key that we want to do is add a Google Drive file. You can upload files, you can link to files, you can do all sorts of things with assignments. And this is how you build your course and watch our other video on using our resources and building out your course. That one was missing quizzes. Now you have the quiz part. So we created a quiz. We named it Framing Corners. I click Google Drive. Now it happened to go to Recent, so I know where it is. But what I have a tendency to do is go back through and make sure I have the right class. So these are just kind of some best practices. So I click My Drive. I have classroom, I know I have Michael testing course, and I'm, I have two quizzes in there. We're talking about um, framing corners in that case, so I linked to that course, and now I hit assign. 
So now it's in my area. Now, Google Classroom was giving me some other tips and make my course a little cleaner, and I recommend you do those, this is, but this is just an example. So now I have a Framing Corners quiz directly in my classroom from a copy that you got from Teach Construction. That's it. Now, obviously you wanna do this over and over for all the other quizzes you wanna create. You wanna to link to videos, link to vocabulary, link to PowerPoints uh, or Google Slides if you wanna provide that to students. Link to anything you want. But in this case, you downloaded a quiz. You know what? I'm gonna go through it one more time. And for those of you who figured it out, by now, fantastic. You're off and running. I'm glad we can help. Please send me an email if you have any questions. If you want me to go through it again, stay tuned with me and that's what we'll do right now. Okay, so we're going to go through this one more time. I'm going to go to the root directory, meaning the base of my Google Drive. Usually I just click up here in the top left corner. I want to go to shared with me because I want to connect to Teach Constructions server. You find this directory or this folder that says Teach construction master quiz course open it up and let's say you want measure and mark reading a tape measure right click on that say where is it here make a copy it tells me down the bottom that it's making a copy of it and as soon as it's done it says it's done or I could click here and show the file location I showed you where it was but this is it's just right in the root of my Google Drive right in the basics of it so we have now a copy of Measure and Mark. I'm going to take this. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it to Google Classroom. Michael's testing class. That's a class that I built for this demonstration. And let me scroll down a little bit, move to here, and move to there. So that just moved it so it's in a nice organized fashion. I'm going to open my other tab. This is my, this is my testing class. I click Create, I click Assignment, not Create a Quiz, because that will create a new one. You want to connect to a quiz. So Create, Create Assignment, give this a name. It was Measure and Mark, I think. We go to here to add Google Drive file or connect to a Google Drive file. I go to My Drive, Classroom, Michael Testing. Now I have three quizzes there. Your path may be different. Just follow the path that you're, you're, you normally use or talk to your tech folks and find out where on Google Drive all your, your course things are, are saved. I select the one I want, which is copy of measure. I hit assign. Now, I did not do any of the add the due dates or any of that. I'm making the assumption that you've used Google Classroom before. If you haven't and you've never used quizzes, Use your internal folks, or we have videos on our YouTube channel that you can uh, that I link to. That somebody that uh, outside on YouTube that does a really good job. We're not here to teach you everything about it. I'm just here to show you how you can get a copy of our courses. So now in this testing class, I have measure and framing corners. These are both quizzes. Obviously, you could go in, set due dates, set points, all that stuff. But we have the quizzes built in here with graphics, everything else. Yes, I know these are upside down. Um, I don't know if you've heard of me one, one of the other videos, but when you use a tape measure, right, I'm right-handed, so I pull a tape with my left hand and I mark with my right hand. That means my tape is upside down all the time. So when we do quizzes, we provide some of these with the tape upside down because that's how most people being right-handed are. Tape measure is a left-handed tool. Congrats if you're a lefty. And if you ever figure out someone who wants to build a new tool and make a right-handed tape measure, please let me know, because all it is is the tape inverted, right? It makes a lot of sense, and I don't know why they don't do it. All right, that's it. That's the process. If you're still interested now and you are saying, well, great, I can make quizzes. Maybe I should build out my Google Classroom, or you're brand new to using Google Classroom, we have another video about building your course out with Google Classroom resources. It's on our website. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel. If you can't find it, hell, shoot me an email. Also, last plug. We are doing streaming sessions on, uh, we're going to start on Fridays. We're going to stream about a variety of different topics. Look for it in your email. You'll see some information about it. If you don't get our notifications normally, send me an email and say, add me to your list. Have fun with this. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. Thank you for all you do for teaching the next generation of trade workers, and good luck with this coming semester.